Singapore is called the world's modern hanging garden herb, but 2,500 years ago, Babylon may have already built one of the greatest wonders in history. The Bible describes Babylon as a city of immense power and pride. In Daniel chapter 4 verse 30, King Nebuchadnezzar looks over his city and says, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by my mighty power and for the glory of my majesty? Many historians believe it was this same king who created the hanging gardens, towering terraces overflowing with trees, vines, and waterfalls in the middle of the desert. But how could they have done it? Ancient records describe advanced irrigation, chain pumps and pulleys lifting water from the Euphrates River into high terraces, creating a vertical rainforest centuries ahead of its time. It was so impressive, it became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Fast forward to today, Singapore's gardens by the bay brings this vision to life again. With futuristic super trees, vertical gardens, and cutting-edge irrigation, it mirrors the ancient dream. But here's the lesson. Nebuchadnezzar built his gardens to glorify himself, and Babylon eventually fell. Singapore's gardens are built to inspire people, but even these will fade someday. Only God's kingdom lasts forever. Herb sparkles. So what do you think? Did the hanging gardens of Babylon really exist? Or is Singapore the one that finally made the wonder real? Comment your thoughts below. This is the verse blueprint, where faith meets engineering. Don't forget to follow for more.